Hello, fifth grade math students. Today's lesson is the first of two on positive and negative numbers. Positive and negative numbers can be seen on our number line. Positive numbers are those that are to the right of zero. So here's our little number mover. And as we go to the right, the numbers increase in value. Negative numbers are to the left of zero. So as we move to the left, these numbers decrease in value. A negative two is less than a negative one on our number line. There are some real life situations where we use negative numbers and we're going to explore adding and subtracting negative numbers in some of these real life situations. So here's our first situation and you're the captain of this submarine. So I want you to look at sea level and your submarine. Sea level would be equivalent to zero on our number line. We're going to be going below sea level, below zero. That would be like going to the left on our number line, to the negative numbers. So the first thing it tells us to do is take our submarine down to a depth of 95 meters below sea level. So I'm going to take it down. Here's minus 100, but we're going to be at minus 95 degrees, or excuse me, meters below sea level. And if I wanted to write this, here in my number sentence place, it would be a minus 95 because we're below sea level, below zero. But all of a sudden a whale comes and we need to rise 25 meters. So we're going to be going up five. If I can get our sub to move five, 10, 15, 20, 25 meters that we had to rise. So in my number sentence box, I'm going to add 25 meters. So where have we landed? We were at 50, 55, 60, 65. We are at 70 meters below sea level. So in our box, we're going to be writing minus 70. We were at negative 95 meters. We rose 25 meters, and we are at now 70 meters below sea level. All right, Captain, danger has passed. We are at 70 meters below sea level, a minus 70, and we're going to dive 45 meters lower. So, on our number sentence, minus 70, we're going to dive another 45 meters down. So let's see where we'll end up. Here we are at 70, and we're going to dive 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40 meters, 45 meters below sea level. So we are at minus 100, 5, 10, 15. We are now 115 degrees below sea level. That minus 115 would be a negative 115 below zero on our number line. And then our final direction is that we're going to return to sea level. So we are 115. degrees or meters below sea level, but we're going to rise 115 to get back to sea level, which is zero. So if I show that, here we are, minus 115. We want to rise to sea level, which is up here at zero. So we're going to have to rise 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 
55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100, 105, 110, 115 degrees to get back to sea level. If we look at our answer piece, we see that the number of sentences we wrote match minus, minus 95 plus 25 because we had to rise, left us at negative 70 meters below sea level. We were at minus 70 and we dropped another minus 45 to put us at minus 115. We were at minus 115 and we rose 115 to bring us back to sea level. So we can put those answers back and we can look at another real life situation with negative numbers. And that would be our thermometer. So here's our thermometer and we can see zero degrees, positive numbers above, negative numbers below. Begins by telling us that the temperature is six degrees, that's where our arrow is, it drops seven degrees. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we can see that we are now at minus one degree. So if we we're going to write this as an equation, we started at six degrees. We were above zero, that's a positive six. We dropped to seven, that would be a minus seven, and it brought us to minus one. Here's how it looks. Six degrees minus the seven we dropped brought us to minus one. Our new equation, we are at minus six degrees and we drop another seven degrees. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we were at minus six, we dropped another minus seven, we now are at minus 13. And here's how we show that. Minus six degrees, dropping another minus seven, brought us to minus 13. Now the temperature is minus two, let's move it back up. This time, the sun comes out and our temperature rises five degrees. One, two, three, four, five. So we were at negative two, but it rose a plus five degrees. So it puts us in the positive plus three degrees. And our final example, the temperature is four degrees. Here we are. And we're having a heat wave. It rises five degrees. One, two, three, four, five. Here we are at nine degrees. So we started at plus four degrees, positive four. We rose plus five degrees and we ended at a positive nine degrees. Another real life situation to show negative numbers is the next one. And this is when you might borrow money or owe money to someone. So in this case, we're going to show our zero just like on the number line and it says that we have to borrow $300. We want to buy an MP3 player so we borrow some money from our parents. Because we've borrowed the money we are in the red. We are at a negative $300 and so I am going to be writing that in my box here. Minus $300 because that's what we borrowed. But then I find I do some jobs and I can pay back $175. So that's going to be plus $175. And now I want to know what do I still owe? So let's go back to our number line here. We earned $175. That's a positive $175. So this would be $125. 50, 75 dollars. So I went from minus 300, I added 175 that I earned. I still owe money, I'm still in the red, but not as much as before. And if I look at this, I see that I now owe 125 dollars. So it's still represented by a negative because I still owe that money. But something good happens. I auction off all of my old CDs on the web and I earn $175. Wants to know how much is left. So we 
you look at this first answer key, it shows what we had here, minus 300 plus 175 is 125, but now I earn 175. So I'm going to write my equation here. I was at minus 125, but I earned a positive 175. So I want to see now, this should be a 2. Let's see where I am on my number line. So I've earned $175. So here's 25 and another 100, 125, 150, 175. It looks like I now am in the positive by $50. So I've paid off my debt. I've come out ahead and I've ended with $50. So you've seen how there are positive and negative numbers in real life situations. If you were on a submarine and you were going below sea level, representing the negative numbers below zero, on a thermometer, positive and negative numbers, and then when you owe and earn money, positive and negative. In my next lesson, we're going to look at number sentences where positive and negative integers are added and subtracted.